Unless you drive an electric or hydrogen-powered car, your car certainly has a petrol or diesel engine under the bonnet. These engines generate power via internal combustion, which produces exhaust emissions including small amounts of smoke. Different colors of smoke, usually black, blue, gray, or white, can appear from an exhaust from time to time, but not all of these are necessarily a cause for alarm. An occasional puff of smoke from the exhaust when accelerating likely isn't anything to worry about. This is particularly the case if you drive a car with a diesel engine. If you take your first high-speed motorway run in a while, there may initially be an ugly sooty cloud from your exhaust, this could well result from a buildup of waste in the exhaust system. However, if you begin to notice smoke coming from either a petrol or diesel engine, on a more frequent basis, be it any color, it could be the sign of something more serious. Any smoke coming out of the exhaust pipe means that your car is under some sort of stress. Your tailpipe will send out smoke in different colors, depending on the problem. This will give you a good idea about the kind of service or repair your car might need. So today, in this video, we take a look at the different types of smoke and what they mean, starting with black smoke. We commonly see black smoke coming out from cars on the road, it is usually the carbon being emitted. However, there are many other reasons why this might be happening. First, your engine could be burning fuel more than the usual amounts. Black smoke is generally a sign that the fuel-air ratio in your engine is too rich. It means that the fuel injectors are either adding too much fuel, or the intake valves aren't getting enough air in, and this eventually causes your fuel to get consumed too quickly. In this case, it will probably smells like gas. Black smoke is rare at idle, but very common under heavy load, and it can affect both diesel and petrol engines, and unfortunately most diesel engines have a higher rate. So what are the causes of black smoke from exhaust? Number 1. Clogged air filters. With dust blocking the air filter, there are chances that sufficient air amount is not reaching the cylinder. As a result, more fuel is being burnt, and ultimately this causes black smoke from exhaust, irrespective of the fact that the fuel injectors are working correctly. Besides this, black smoke can be found due to the heavy load or during hard acceleration, as the fuel is not injected at the right time. Check your air filter system to see if it is dirty or clogged, as this might prevent air from coming inside, you will need to clean it or replace it if necessary. Damaged fuel injectors. In the case of a good fuel injector, the fuel is properly atomized, which means the fine droplets of fuel are spreading equally in the cylinder. However, if the injectors don't close on time or they are clogged, there are chances that more fuel is injected in a certain area, called a rich mixture area of the car. Faulty MAF sensors. The work of the mass airflow sensor is to determine the volume of air entering the engine, which in turn helps in measuring the amount of fuel to be injected inside the cylinder. This entire functioning is essential for the complete combustion of fuel in the engine. Otherwise, a malfunctioning MAF sensor can lead to poor performing engine. Bad oxygen sensor. When you have a bad oxygen sensor, your car will run less efficiently, which can lead to not only smoke, but also other problems, usually like high fuel consumption, poor idling, hard starting problems, etc. Oxygen sensors are crucial for measuring and balancing the oxygen to fuel ratio, although it is possible to clean your oxygen sensor to get a few extra miles out of it, replacement is the best solution. Damaged piston rings. Piston rings are designed to prevent the infiltration of engine oil inside the combustion chamber. If there is any problem with the piston rings, the engine oil starts flowing into the combustion chamber. The combustion of the mixture of this engine oil and the fuel delivers black smoke. So you should check them and replace them if necessary to get rid of black exhaust smoke. Engine deposits. Engine deposits are another reason causing black smoke from the tailpipe. When the engine is new, it will run fluently without any problems but after a long period of use, the engine conditions get worse and worse. It all depends, if it's just a burst of smoke that clears after a few minutes, then there you can drive your car. Apart from being the easiest smoke to recognize and fix, the burning of unnecessary fuel will truly affect your fuel economy. Therefore, don't ignore the signs since the smoke might be due to the poor functioning of the engine components. 
White smoke. It is also called as cold smoke, it's a quite normal thing, if you see a white smoke coming out of exhaust system when warming up the cold engine. White smoke could be two types depending on how thick or thin it is. If the smoke is thin, it's most likely to be steam rather than actual smoke, and is caused by condensation in the exhaust system. When you start your car, the warming engine turns the condensation into steam, and the white smoke you see should disappear quickly. So, there is nothing to worry about it. But what if the white smoke is thick? This is one of the most common kinds of smoke, witnessed from those cars which are ill-maintained, the reasons behind which are lack of engine oil, damaged engine gasket, or broken engine block or cylinder. The root cause behind this is the faster wear and tear of engine components, due to improper lubrication, which in turn results in overheating and emission of white smoke. Thick white exhaust smoke usually indicates a coolant leak, which could cause overheating and put your engine at serious risk of damage. This is something that you can easily fix on your own by adding more coolant to the reservoir. Try not to add water in its place, since water evaporates quickly and is also corrosive to the metal. It can lead to rusting of the parts. Use cooling oil or antifreeze. Or you can try head gasket repair treatment to seal the leak before you do severe damage to your engine. What the first thing you should do when white smoke comes from the exhaust? Most importantly, you should not continue to run the car, if your engine has a gasket failure or a crack, it could lead to further contamination or overheating. Blue smoke. If you're seeing blue smoke coming from exhaust, it is likely to be caused by oil leaking into the combustion chamber and being burned with the fuel. If your car has been serviced recently or you've serviced it yourself, it could be that too much oil has been put back into the system and this excess oil is burning off. If the smoke stops after a while, then there's no problem. Or, if your car is old or has covered a large number of miles, it's pretty common for engine seals to wear and allow oil to leak into the combustion chamber. Also, this leakage usually happens as a result of damages caused to cylinder walls, piston rings, or valve seals. If the smoke emerges during acceleration, the reason is most possibly related to the cylinder head, and during deceleration, it is due to damaged piston rings. But what if your car is new? If you're noticing blue smoke coming out of your engine and your car is brand new, then you need to have it checked out at your local garage. It happens when the oil starts leaking from the place it passes by, and instead of lubricating the parts for smooth movement, it is leaking out somewhere else and leaving the essential parts dry. It might also happen the oil is seeping into the fuel tanks and getting mixed with it, and might even be combusting with it in the process. This happens mainly in the case when the positive crankcase ventilation valve is not working properly. If you continue using the car with oil leakage, it can damage your car's spark plugs. Finally, blue smoke can also be a sign that the turbocharger isn't working correctly. If you've noticed a loss of power, it's possible that oil is getting into the intake, or it could be an oil feed system. The moving parts of a car's turbocharger are lubricated by an oil feed from the car's sump in order to reduce friction and maintain efficiency. There's a possibility of this feed leaking, and if oil joins the flow of air being pumped into the engine, it will enter the cylinders and get burnt. If the fault is with the feed itself, the repair could be inexpensive. If the turbocharger itself is at fault, it will need rebuilding or replacing, and that can be costly. Gray smoke. If you think you can see gray smoke coming from exhaust, treat it in the same way as blue smoke. It's probably caused by your car burning of transmission fluid or a faulty turbocharger, which may be a very common reason with engines emitting gray smoke. Besides that, another cause of gray smoke can be a jammed PCV valve. The function of a PCV valve is to pump air and gas through the tubes into the combustion chambers. The PCV system also reduces toxic emissions and sends them back to where combustion takes place. However, if there is a broken or jammed PCV valve, it can make the air and gas get stuck inside the ventilation system and result in pressure buildup, which in turn leads to leakages. Final thought. If car exhaust smokes is black, this means there is a potential need for an air filter replacement or a deeper problem with the fuel system. If car exhaust smoke is white, White smoke usually comes out when the engine is cold during the winter, 
or could be an indicator of potential engine block, coolant leakage, or cracked cylinder head problem. If there is blue smoke, turbocharged cars emit blue smoke. It could mean that the blower must be replaced or there is a problem with the pistons. Gray smoke indicates there is a possible problem with the transmission fluid. So what do you think of these exhaust smokes? Have you ever faced any of these problems? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.